This is the CTV News. We continue with news of a science exhibition slated for Friday at the Derek Walcott Square. It is actually the Surgical Visionaires Challenge National Science Competition. This competition targets students from secondary schools and tertiary institutions. Motilal Singh is one of the coordinators of the event. He joins us online with the details of Friday's science fair. Uh, this is the second year of the Satiko Visionary Challenge Science Competition. And these are, are targeting the secondary schools in St. Lucia, the 24 secondary schools. Um, to date, there are 16 secondary schools plus the college in the morning taking part. So we have 30 projects will be displayed on Friday at the Derek Walcott Square. Setting up of projects will start about from 8 o'clock, and then there is an opening ceremony at 10, judging followed after that, and then a closing prize giving ceremony starting at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. This is a competition actually mainly sponsored by Sajiko, and this is a regional competition. Other regions is also conducting their competition either this week or week of December, first week of December. And one of the good things in this competition is that the top prize that is for this competition in each region, the student involved and the teacher, very much the teacher, sometimes it's always left out, they'll be going to the Florida Space Center, that is in the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, so actually, one week in the summer, all expensive out-of-pocket, in-pocket money will be paid by Sajiko. And that's a really, really good initiative. The general public is invited to view the science projects on Friday. The Cultural Development Foundation has launched a poetry project entitled Setli C, Poems and Art of St. Lucia. It is a project which celebrates playwright and poet MacDonald Dixon, who just turned 70. With the 70th birthday of MacDonald Dixon on October 1st drawing near, a few of us conceived the idea of putting together an anthology of St. Lucian poems for him. Time does not permit to give details of the process, but essentially, Kendall Hippolyte, who's here somewhere, I saw Kendall come in, Endel Koteo, oh, Ula, okay. Kendall Hippolyte, Jane King, Larimer Lucien, and I took on the task of selecting and compiling the collection. We each selected poems from published titles, from unpublished poets whose poems were well known, and from newer poets whose writing deserved exposure. We take a particular pleasure here today, CDF, in launching this publication for a number of reasons. Firstly, this publication says something to us about our printing industry. When Robert came to me, uh, you know Robert, bustling with enthusiasm, optimism, energy, to do this, I immediately spotted the vision for the value to the country as well as to CDF. I didn't have a clue where a penny was going to come from to do this. But I was carried along with Robert's enthusiasm and also with the fact that we have already done a publication again with Robert, the um, bibliography of creative writing in St. Lucia. But that is for a different kind of audience. This is our first real public-oriented publication. We are proud of it, and it has enabled us to stick to that, that policy decision at CDF that we will publish, both in print and audiovisual, the output of our creators in this country. First of all, I remember my mother always used to tell me that your shadow is normally larger than you. And I'm glad that Kendall, in his own inimitable style, spoke only of the shadow. Um, I do what I do out of love of country. Possibly that is true. I take this opportunity to thank um, CDF for this occasion. I thank, of course, the editors who have put together what appears to me to be a wonderful piece of work. I must say that 
I will, I will cherish this.